Greetings from Jody Comer's Captivating World, a name that has become synonymous with talent, versatility, and sheer brilliance in the realm of acting. Get ready to embark on a cinematic adventure as we unravel the enigmatic and brilliant career of the one and only Jodie Comer. From the intriguing characters she breathes life into to the red carpet moments that make headlines, this is more than just a biography. It's a front row seat to the evolution of a true Hollywood sensation. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our channel. Jodie Marie Comer is an English actress. She was born in Liverpool on March 11, 1993. The daughter of Mercy Rail employee Donna Comer and Everton FC physiotherapist James Comer. She grew up in Liverpool's Childwall suburb. She has a younger brother named Charlie, who was born in 1995. She attended St. Julie's Catholic High School in the Liverpool suburb of Walton, where she became close friends with future Olympic athlete Katarina Johnson Thompson. She started acting at a local weekend drama school called Calls in the Bellevale area of Liverpool when she was 11 years old. And it was through this school that she entered the Liverpool Performing Arts Festival in 2006 at Steve George's Hall and came first in her category after performing a monologue about the Hillsborough disaster. Comer's friends kicked her out of their high school dance group because a holiday with her family clashed with rehearsals for the school's talent show, and she instead decided to perform the monologue for the show. Although she did not win, her performance prompted the school's drama teacher to call in a favor from friends in the entertainment industry that would allow her to audition for a BBC Radio 4 play. This would become her first acting job, with her co-stars in the play advising her to get an agent and telling her that she could have a successful acting career. Jodie Comer's career trajectory isn't just about talent, but also about dedication, choice, and a willingness to push boundaries. She has embraced diverse roles, navigated different mediums, and continuously challenged herself, establishing herself as a multifaceted and captivating actress with a promising future ahead. Early beginnings, acting spark. Jodie's passion for acting ignited early when she participated in a local theater troupe during her teenage years. This laid the foundation for her stage presence and love for performing. Small screen stepping stones. In 2008, at the tender age of 15, Jodie landed her first on-screen role in a single episode of the British medical drama The Royal Today. While small, it paved the way for several guest appearances in shows like Holby City, Silent Witness, and Waterloo Road. Series regular recognition. Dodie secured her first sustained TV gig in 2013 with the sitcom drama My Mad Fat Diary. Playing the charismatic best friend, Chloe gained wider recognition and showcased her comedic timing and relatable portrayal of a teenage girl navigating self-discovery. Rising star, dramatic depth, Jodie displayed her depth as an actress in the 2016 miniseries 13, portraying a teenager struggling with dissociative identity disorder. Her nuanced performance garnered critical acclaim and demonstrated her ability to handle complex characters. Thrilling breakthrough. In 2015, Jodie landed a recurring role in the drama series Dr. Foster. Her portrayal of the manipulative student Kate Parks caught the attention of audiences and critics alike, establishing her as a versatile player. Global recognition. The turning point came in 2018 with the BBC America spy thriller series Killing Eve. Jodie's mesmerizing performance as the stylish and psychopathic assassin Villanelle became an instant sensation. The role brought her international recognition, numerous awards including a Primetime Emmy and a BAFTA, and cemented her place as a global star. Beyond Villanay, Hollywood adventures, Jodie banded her horizons. Beyond television, taking on roles in major Hollywood films like Star Wars, Episode X, The Rise of Skywalker, the action comedy Free Guy, and the historical drama The Last Duel, these diverse projects demonstrated her range and willingness to tackle different genres. Stage debut in 2022, Jodie took on the challenge of a one-woman show with Prima Facey in London's West End. Her powerful performance as a lawyer facing sexual assault accusations earned her rave reviews and prestigious awards like the Olivier Award. Jodie Comer's career trajectory isn't just about talent, but also about dedication, choice, and a willingness to push boundaries. She has embraced diverse roles, navigated different mediums, and continuously challenged herself, establishing herself as a multifaceted and captivating actress with a promising future ahead. Comer didn't have an easy start in the acting industry. She faced rejections and worked in various odd jobs to support herself while pursuing her acting dream. Her big break came with the role of Villanelle in the hit series Killing Eve, which required her to portray a complex and sometimes dark character. This role not only brought her international recognition, but also critical acclaim, Comer is known for her dedication to her craft. She immerses herself fully in her roles and takes on diverse characters, 
showcasing her versatility as an actress. Comer's love life is currently shrouded in a bit of mystery, with speculation swirling about a potential split from her boyfriend, James Burke. Here's what we know, Jody and Jamie's. She started dating in 2019 when she was filming Free Guy in Boston. He's an American lacrosse player and tech consultant who keeps a low profile. Jody described him as her first love and they seemed very loved up in their early appearances together. Possible split, the last time they were publicly seen together was in 2020. Jody hasn't mentioned him in recent interviews or award acceptance speeches. Sources claim they're in different parts of the world, and she's focused on her career. Lack of joint appearances and social media mentions have fueled speculation about a breakout. Important disclaimer, neither Jody nor James have officially confirmed a split. These are just rumors and speculations based on publicly available information. Their private lives deserve respect, and it's important to avoid intrusive behavior. Other notes, Jody has always been quite private about her personal life. She prefers to focus on her work and let her talent speak for itself. Even if it's true details about the actual relationship and a potential breakup remain unknown. It's best to rely on reliable sources and official statements for updates on Jody's personal life. Remember, speculation on her private life should be treated with sensitivity and respect for her privacy. Comer, despite keeping her personal life relatively private, has been increasingly vocal about causes she cares about, particularly related to women's rights and the environment. Here's a glimpse into her philanthropic and activist endeavors. Philanthropy, women's refuge. Comer is a supporter of Women's Refuge, a UK charity providing safe refuge and support for women and children escaping domestic violence. She participated in their Walk in Her Shoes campaign in 2019, walking 10 miles in a pair of donated high heels to raise awareness and funds. Teenage Cancer Trust In 2020, Comer teamed up with the Teenage Cancer Trust, a charity supporting young people with cancer, for a virtual fundraising event where she read bedtime stories. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Comer supported NHS Charities Together, a federation of NHS charities in the UK, by participating in the Big Night in fundraising event on BBC One. Activism. Time's Up. Comer is a vocal supporter of the Time's Up movement, advocating for gender equality and against sexual harassment and assault. She participated in the movement's 2018 Golden Globes blackout protest and has spoken out against gender pay disparity in the film industry. Climate Change. Comer has expressed her concern about climate change and has used her platform to raise awareness about environmental issues. She partnered with Greenpeace in 2020 to create a video urging people to take action against climate injustice and mental health. Comer has openly discussed her own struggles with anxiety and depression and has used her platform to raise awareness about mental health issues. She has supported various mental health charities and encourages open conversations about mental well- Overall, Jodi Comer demonstrates a genuine commitment to various causes through both her charitable donations and public advocacy. Her involvement in women's rights, environmental protection, and mental health awareness showcases her desire to use her platform for positive change. Comer has built a diverse and impressive filmography across film, television, and theater. Here's a breakdown of her notable works in each category. Film. Famous roles Delanelle in the spy thriller series Killing Eve 2018-2022. This Emmy and BAFTA-winning performance cemented Comer's status as a global star. Marguerite de Carugia's in the historical drama The Last Duel 2021, alongside Matt Damon and Adam Driver, Comer delivered a powerful turn as a woman fighting for justice. Millie Rusk Motov Girl in the action comedy Free Guy, 2021, showcasing her comedic range, Comer played a dual role in this Ryan Reynolds-led film. Episode X Nani, The Rise of Skywalker 2019. Although brief, Comer's portrayal added an emotional layer to the Star Wars saga. Popular films Free Guy 2021 The Last Duel 2021 Star Wars Episode IIXE The Rise of Skywalker 2019 England is Mine 2017 The White Princess 2017 miniseries Here's what we know about Comer's property portfolio and taste for luxury. Properties London Apartment Comer reportedly owns a stylish apartment in the trendy Hackney Wick area of London. The exact details of the apartment are unknown, but Hackney Wick is known for its industrial chic aesthetic and vibrant artistic community. Liverpool Hometown Comer also maintains a close connection to her hometown of Liverpool, where she reportedly owns a property near her family. While unconfirmed, Comer's net worth is estimated to be in the millions of pounds sterling. This figure is based on her successful acting career, 
including her work on Killing Eve, Dr. Foster, and other projects. Income Sources Kamer's primary income comes from her acting roles in film, television, and theater. She also earns through endorsements and brand partnerships. Kamer has a keen sense of style and is often seen sporting designer outfits and accessories on red carpets and in street style photographs. Some of her favorite brands include Chanel, Dior, and Saint Laurent. Kamer enjoys traveling the world and experiencing new cultures. She has shared snaps from her trips to Italy, Greece, and the Maldives on social media. Palmer is a self-proclaimed foodie and enjoys indulging in delicious meals at Michael and starred restaurants and trendy eateries. Here's a glimpse into Jodie Comer's impressive achievements. Primetime Emmy Award Winner for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series 2019 for her portrayal of the enigmatic villanelle in Killing Eve. Earrance Olivier Award Winner for Best Actress 2023 for her West End debut in the one-woman play Prima Facie. Tony Award, winner for Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Play 2023 for Prima Facie on Broadway. Golden Globe Award nominations. Twice nominated for Best Actress in a Television Series, Drama 2019, Commerce Talent has been met with widespread critical acclaim for her range, nuanced portrayals, and captivating screen presence. At only 30 years old, Kamer is considered one of the most promising and exciting young actresses of her generation. But beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Jodi's humility and authenticity shine through, reminding us that behind every mesmerizing performance is a grounded and genuine individual. Her commitment to her artistry, coupled with her magnetic presence, continues to captivate audiences worldwide. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of an exceptional artist. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating stories from the world of entertainment. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep believing, and keep shining your light as brightly as Jodie Comer does on the silver screen.